are we in a lightsaber bubble? So lightsaber sales do have their natural peaks and valleys anyway. A lot of lightsaber sales occur in during the holiday season, so right around now. A lot of lightsaber sales happen around May 4th because of the Star Wars holiday, May the 4th be with you. And finally, a lot of sales occur around a new movie release and maybe even a little spike around the DVD release, but mainly movie release. And in recent years, the Star Wars movies have been coming out in December, so that's pretty much overlapped with the holiday season. But aside from that, what do you think? Are we in a bubble? Because this year in particular, we've had a lot of new manufacturers come on the market with their lightsabers. So you have Saber Trio out of Malaysia with some nice sabers. You have Kyber Light out of the US. You have Patch Store Wonder Force out of Asia. Many others, Electrum Sabercraft. You have quite a few new entrants into the saber market. And then you have the old standards, you have your Saber Forge, you have your Ultra Sabers, you have Vader's Vault, Park Sabers, many others. So is the market becoming too crowded and which of these vendors will still be around in a few years from now? It's very hard to say because even if somebody makes a quality product, that's no guarantee they'll be around. It just depends on where the money ends up flowing. I would predict that some of the Sabre companies are almost too big to fail, like Sabre Forge, Ultra Sabres, and Vader's Vault. They're so established in the marketplace that it would be kind of hard to topple them, but some of these smaller companies may start taking some of their sales away. I'm sure that's already happening, so it's just really interesting to see how this market is evolving, but is it a bubble? Is there going to be some kind of burst in the bubble in a few years? Are lightsabers a fad or are they a trend? So many questions, you guys. I'd love to hear your input on all this. What do you think? Are we in a lightsaber bubble? What's going to happen with some of these lightsaber companies one year from now, five years from now, ten years from now? We could even talk about 3D printing and how disruptive that will be in the future. So many angles of this we can take, you guys. So let me know in the comments section.